Hello everybody, my name is RPG and welcome back to Let's Play Shining Force 3. We've got um, quite a few different enemies to take on here that we've not seen before in uh, Edmund's camp over here. We've got the Edmund Soldier Halberd Edition. There's quite a few Halberd Edition soldiers. We've got the Edmund Soldier Axe Edition, which is over here. These bird soldiers are now, oh, they're wing knights now, not birdmen. They've got spears. There is this mage guy. Who looks exactly the same as the original Aspinia Mage, but except now he's got Freeze 2 instead of Blaze 2. And we've got our pal Edmund Commander over here, the boss. And there's also like six barrels down here, so I'm going to go out on a limb and assume some of them have probably got stuff in them. So, we are going to have to push forward. So, Grantak told us not to just go straight down the middle. I am unsure how much I agree with his philosophy, but I guess, I guess we'll see. We'll, we'll see how it goes. I'll let I'll get hit by a couple of them, and then that will inform my decision pretty much. I wonder if you can do nine damage. Nope. However, like I don't think her tornado spell would have done nine. And if I don't use her basic attacks, she's never going to level her katana skills. So I, I need to get her to hit things, to be honest, anyway. This might level synthesis, with a bit of luck. Nice. Oh my god, she gained a HP. And learned Soul Steel. Oh, that was a good level up, you know. Good level up. I don't know if I will get much... Uh, drop that. If I'll really get much mileage out of Soul Steel. So I'm going to ignore everything and just go down here. Because Soul Steel, if I remember rightly, is... um, It does like a piddly amount of dark damage. But has a lowest chance to deal infinite instant death. Infinite death. Actually, I suppose one thing I can do is check in the status. Have a very quick check of that. Yeah, it's like his power is 14, which is as much as Blaze 1, except it costs four times as much MP. I mean, I guess it's kind of nice that it might one-shot, but that's single target, so meh, basically, I guess. The the chance of me ever really using that is very low, unless it's like a ridiculous crapshoot Hail Mary. That might be the only time it's ever worthwhile. Soul Seal 2 might be okay, but, you know, I can't imagine it's going to be a while before I actually get even get my hands on that one. I'm not really a fan of uh, instant death. Okay, so you were full health, but you decided to slurp anyway. Interesting tactical decision. Medjin's actually taken a bit more of a beating than I would have liked. So, I think I may this may be the point where I need to rethink my battle strategy of just run. Run people. Okay, so that's unfortunate. She is a squishy girl, and I'm going to need to fix that. Oh, Waltz can help out with this, though. Oh, this might kill it. No, but uh, Hazuki can definitely finish that off now. Interesting play there to not use your spell. Okay, interesting. Oh, actually, what if we... I knew we brought him a throwing axe for a reason. Just for situations like this when you've really badly got to throw a... Uh, throw an axe at a guy. Right, there you do. 
you can't reach, unfortunately. I mean, I mean, I could no. If I if I use heal too, I can, but I don't want to. So I won't. I'll just wait. He can't be too far off a level up at this point either. Right, you don't need to hiss anyone with Blaze. I'm so happy she finally gained her HP. This should kill the soldier. Cool. Let's go there. I just, I basically, I want to get that mage down. Like, I've kind of already got this pack on the left, so I'm not fussed about that. Those priests must be like a level, f like, three or four enemy or something. In fact,. I think those priests, like, first showed up in, what, like, battle number six? Yeah, like, literally, they showed up on the Anifect Ox. And, no, they showed up before then. There were, those priests were... There was some definitely when we fought General Varland. So that's all the way back in chapter one. Were there any in, like, battle four? No. Battle four was the Republic Knights, the Dwarves, the Snipers... Yeah, so they've literally been here. Those priests have been present for, like, an entire chapter. And, oh, extra soldiers. Right, I didn't see that coming. Uh, kill this guy. Well, destroy it. I'm sort of hoping everyone will be able to hit level 8 off this. I mean, there's a lot of enemies. Yes, please hit Campbell. The person that you'll probably hit for 1 and he'll just regen it immediately after. Good. Okay. I mean, this is sort of what I want, but... Although Medians no longer as invincible as I'd hoped. Although I, I wonder if they'd be hitting him for one. But because he's uh, weak to the halberds, they, they just hit him for one plus three anyway. Either way, not a fan. Ooh. Okay, you can reach. Good. So, I think Median is probably okay for another turn. Because I think a Yudo is more of a priority target to heal for now. Uh, let's put your big axe back on. Well, I mean, it's the small axe, but you know what I mean. The kind of axe we can only use in melee. My favorite kind. <laughs> Pretty reasonable. So, Median is probably safe now, at this point. I mean, definitely, if I soften this guy up and then kill him with someone else. This isn't so bad so far, but that, that ambush has caught me off guard a little, so I'm going to go out on a limb and assume... I want to heal Hazuki and I can't. Fine. Median it is. I'm now hesitant to, like, move Hazuki, though. Well, not, like, hesitant to move as such, but... Um, 
I was I was debating having her just heal herself with a herb, but we might as well blast this bat to death with wind. Then someone else can heal her, maybe. If they can't reach anyone else for combat. Okay, that's... Ow. Yeah, ow. Right, so I'm not doing that again. Jesus. Okay, that's that was my own fault. I should have paid more attention to uh to my positioning. So what I'm gonna do If I put you here, maybe Cutscene? Uh, either way, maybe uh Actually, I'm not sure how long this cutscene is going to be, so I'll just do my normal thing, and I'll catch you in a minute after the after they're done talking.
Ah. So I, for some reason, I thought that cutscene was actually going to be after this fight, not during. Um, I assumed that, like, we would wipe this and then, then we get the part where we, like, advance and go, by the way, we've, uh, we've stopped them. But I guess not. I guess it's, like, during. That's kind of cool. That everything's sort of just happening side by side. And now I need to, like, recover from this awful situation I've put myself in. Right, that's fine. I'm really hoping that that Edmund soldier is going to do the same thing as that wing knight and just go straight for uh, go straight for Symbios, Median even. I, I keep doing this. I'm also sort of hoping, right, I can just blow this mage up. Because good lord, do I... Okay, I need to hit it once more. Good lord, do I not want to... Take another freeze too. Not even on one person. Okay, Burner's got this. Fine, good. And I think that quite nicely also protects all my people. So even if that Edmund soldier that's there walks around towards this way, I don't think he can get in range of anyone to hit them. Fingers crossed. And then I'll have learned a valuable lesson about actually being careful, I think. Okay, good level up. Come on. Wonderful level up. Good job, Bernard. You earned that. Please go for... Yes, good. Yes. Okay, we should be fine now. Once we get everyone healed back up and uh, to a safe level, we can push on again. He needs to break all those barrels, too. Uh, actually, to, like, make life a little bit easier. I might as well use some of these herbs that I'll otherwise probably never use. Because that way as well, uh, you'd... Only nine? Come on. That way, like, uh, Yudo will still have some MP left when we actually, like, fight the boss down here. Because there is a second mage that we're going to have to fight. Yeah, well, I'll, I'll spend time healing people. It was Waltz, Rock, Synthesis, and uh, Yudo that got hit. So, Waltz and Rock have healed themselves. Oh, of course, you heal your set, you for 12. You can heal Synthesis. Someone else can use a herb on her Yudo. And I haven't forgotten about Hazuki, but she'll probably have to just herb herself. There we go. His MP growth is a little slow, but at least he's gaining stats and everything else. Oh, I forgot about the lucky cookie. I need to use that. And the protect ring that I got in the ruins in the last fight. I didn't use that either. I have to remember to uh, use those and equip those. Right, she's ready for combat again now. Unfortunately, Masquerine can't reach. I can't believe she's got nearly 30 MP already. Um... See, I don't know if you'll instantly... <laughs> Chill. Chill for now. So, this is maybe dangerous. No, 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 actually. I'll wait and see what they do. So, this sucks, but Median's got a healing drop, which at this point, honestly, I'm okay with using. I don't think I can kill this Edmund soldier before it takes a turn, but it'll be low enough that someone else can just finish it off with the XP. 
Like waltz, maybe. Okay, and now that he's put itself in a really bad spot, it's making it nice and easy for me to finish it off. Yeah, like, I, I can still use Median to tank this fight, but it's... Dicier. Although, is that an Axe version? Yeah, so down here, at least, it's just Axe guys, so... Not quite so much to fear there. So after this guy's dead, I'm going to... I'll go take out that priest, and then I'll send everyone around to get... To get... When it's done. I'll get these guys, and then we'll push in on the boss from that angle, maybe. Because we can kind of... I mean, maybe I could just flank it. Okay, Rock can't reach, so... I'll start sending him around, ready? You need to heal yourself before anything else. Median can very easily take another hit. A Yudo, I'm not sure, can. Right, that'll... I might let Campbell kill that. Yeah, I think that's a good idea. And... Now Hazuki can't reach. So Hazuki can start going this way. Well, there's two people over there that do super effective damage on her. And she is a squishy baby. Median can go over here. And healing drop himself. Like, healing items are not going to be hard to come by in the long run, so I don't feel like that's too much of a waste. Why it always got to be like this? So, I'm going to kill that. I'm just going to take that out of the fight. So I can get Campbell down there now to smash those enemies that have just spawned in. I should have seen that coming. I should have... Like, I even saw that the enemies come out of the carts before and just assumed, oh, it's fine, those wagons, definitely not. At least they're going to go for Median. It's, it's about now that, like, it'd actually be pretty neat if you did a counter-attack. I mean, maybe we'll Lance Charge and crit and kill him instantly. Nope. Oh, here's the Axe variety, though. So we're not doing bonus damage to that one. Interesting. I thought he would have gone for Campbell. How much damage are you going to do? Okay. Median is still in it like a massive tank. It's just when he's getting hit by spears, basically, and lances... Outside of that, still gods here. Yeah, I thought you might heal. Because those priests are worth, like, no XP anyway to anybody, I'm going to have uh, Median kill it, which was honestly was the original plan last turn, was for him to just run around there and instantly kill it, but the best laid plans. Don't always come to fruition. I mean, or... Grand opportunity here to just blaze... Hit three targets with blaze two. Probably killing the priest. Maybe his magic res is high enough he survives. Just about. But these are now easy pickings.
I don't know who you need to heal for now, actually, so... I don't really want to push you up. I'm scared of that mage, if I'm brutally honest. I mean, I can't reach the priest, so... And Median is going down this way, so I'm committing. Break a barrel. Do you hold a secret? Side. Yeah, if I kill this one, it means I can put waltz in the gap. Zero can't be too far off level eight now as well. He's got like two or three kills this fight. Right. He's using a sword and flies. Not as bad as I thought. So, I don't know if that priest will heal itself or if it would just tornado zero. Tornadoing zero would be really bad, so... So that's that, that little catastrophe dealt with. Phew. Pretty good. I'll take that. I'll take that. I mean... Rock is a big tanky boy. He can probably get away with that. But instead, I'll inch him forwards. It's, uh, it's a lot more safe for me to do that now that... Uh, Uh, Udo's nearby to heal him, basically. So I'm pretty sure if I hit that, the boss will run out at me. I'm not sure I want to do that yet. I can't heal him. Now what? See, it's this part.
I'm not gonna lie. Every single time they do that scream as a sound effect, it delights me to no end. Right, you need to heal. And... I want you down here, right? Because if I position you just right... One, two, three, four, five, six... You, I can maybe get him to just fly over and blow up the mage. Oh, there's the protect ring. That's really good, actually. I mean, I might change my mind on that later. But I mean, for now, he might as well equip it. It's probably not going to help too much. Um, actually, I don't think there's any more spear people left, so... It actually might make leave him at the point where he only takes like one or two damage from each thing that hits him. Yeah, it's a good job I didn't just run rock right into the middle of them, I think. Based on that. Hopefully this doesn't pull them out of their little hidey hole at the front. I don't like this. Right, we can probably, yeah, we can probably kill this wing knight straight up. And once he's gone, uh, the only enemy that's like dangerous and still here is um, that halberd lance, halberd soldier. And the axe one down there can't get back up, so. And I've got one more heal left. At least with her, you know. I've still got healing items on probably a bunch of people. So I shouldn't be completely screwed. Uh, stay away from the edge just in case. So I know she could probably kill that with her sword. But, right. She can kill it from the safety of that wagon. Because it's flying, so it'll take extra damage from Tornado. In theory. Yeah. Considerably more. I'm trying to think how best to... Approach that. Right. Are we going to get the MVP special? Oh, we so are. Go on, put him to sleep. That's not quite the sleep I was expecting you to put him. But that, oh, that will do. That will do. I'm glad that I've got a new permanent sleeper in the, uh, in the army. One, two, three, four... Oh, okay. So it looks like flying over the boxes, like, significantly slows Zero down. That changes my plan. I'm not sure how significantly it changes my plan, because I can still do that. I think I need to just rush in and kill the mage in one hit. That's going to be my tactical play here, I think. Right. How much damage are you going to take from the axis? Three. So you take three from the other guy, probably five from the boss. That's not horrific. Oh, a healing drop. That could come in handy in a minute. Uh, yeah. Yeah. It's 
So I think because of the ring on Campbell, I can safely send him in. I'm just not happy about it. I guess I'll just start breaking barrels. Nothing in that one. Right, I know you've actually got a ninja star that you're not particularly good with, but it'll do one damage and break a barrel, so... Ooh, a quick chicken. I think that's the agility upgrade. Right, so you can't just rush in there and kill the mage. But you can do this and probably draw some fire. And then other people can charge in and kill the mage. That was just unfair. Yeah, that was more than double its health. Poor little priest. Poor little priest. Yeah, let's get an, an avenue open here to rush in and get that mage. I mean, breaking all these barrels clearly was the right decision as well. One healing drop and one quick chicken. Yeah, hit the boss. Let's see how long this is going to take. Probably not very. Yeah. And whoever kills it is probably getting a level up. Now, Campbell, I want to believe. I'm believing real hard. Because you might be in trouble otherwise. Right, you might be in trouble. Is it really going to come down to what the boss does, I think? How tanky is my boy Zero? Very tanky now. If I hadn't equipped that ring on him, that would have screwed me. Because I think now... No matter what that mage hits, it can't kill them in one hit. Okay, so there were two items in the barrels. Oh. Nope, I can't, I can't actually hit it. What I can do, though, is equip the throwing axe. And chuck this right at the boss. And then I'm going to need to be careful before I kill the boss, before I kill everything else. Oh, hold on. Hold the phone. Hold the phone. How about you don't take a turn, Mr. Mage? I'm so glad that whenever I ask the basic attack with him, he just lasers people to death. He's carrying such good items. I can't remember who's level 7. Campbell? Rock. Azuki, I think. I'm not sure they're going to be, like, able to really get close. Oh, okay. So I'm not terribly... No, that's fine. That's fine. That, that one is definitely dead. 
and then Campbell probably kills the boss before it does anything. This was a lot tougher than I thought it was going to be. I mean, I guess there was a lot of reinforcements that I wasn't expecting. And it's been quite quite a long fight as well, compared to what up to pretty much the run time on most of the rest of the fights so far. Actually, no, I think I think Zero might kill this. I'm not sure. This is this was been has been like this has been hard. Okay, it's probably dead now. Yep. Holy shit, Zero. Well played. A level up you deserved. And a perfect level up at that. And an extra healing drop. Very nice. So I'm going to leave this one here because this is going to wrap up uh, chapter two for Median. We've seen this cutscene before, but obviously I imagine there will be a little bit after it that we won't have seen. And then we'll be kicking straight off into chapter three. Thank you very much for watching, everybody, and I hope to see you next time.